It begins like hundreds of other trips that happen in New York City every day. But the passenger appears to be in pain. It's about 10 minutes. Moaning, twisting in the back seat with a woman he addresses as his mother. He wants to go to Mount Sinai's hospital in Long Island City. Lyft driver Eduardo Mariero follows the instructions from his GPS to take them there. But the man suddenly becomes impatient. He was agonizing and moaning the whole time um, throughout the ride, you know, talking about that, um, you know, there was too much traffic, that I had to do something about the traffic, I had to go faster, you know, he wanted me to act like an ambulance, you know, switching lanes back and forth, and, and I, you know, I can't do that. Mediato admits he didn't like being told how to drive, but was totally unprepared for what would happen next. Um, excuse me, man, if you're going to be disrespectful, I'll just pull over right now. Uh, the man pounces on Mariero, punching him so hard that he nearly loses control of his car. I just wanted it over with, you know, I just wanted it to end. I want him out of my car. Moments later, the man and woman get out of the car. When he was outside of the car, he started also cursing at me, you know, um, calling me a Mexican and, and telling me to go back to my country and things like that. But that was five days ago. Although the bruises have healed, Mariero is angry that the man has yet to be arrested. With all the evidence that I have, the video and the address and, and Lyft being involved, I feel that this should be an easy case for the city to prosecute, cast, capture the guy. Lyft released a statement saying that the man has been, quote, permanently banned from the rideshare app. But that is little consolation for the driver who wants to see this guy in handcuffs. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.